What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video, I do apologise that this is later than I wanted for you guys but we're going to be doing a very short review of the game between Norwich and Manchester City in the Premier League. Um, as if you've been paying attention to my Instagram and stuff, I have been in Peterborough doing an away vlog which will be up um, sooner rather than later on the JSGC football channel. Uh, I've then travelled away as you can see in a hotel and everything so it's just been very consumptuous for me that uh, it, yeah. Well, I'm just putting out videos uh, when I can, so I just wanted to do a very quick review for you guys of this game between Norwich and Manchester City, which I've managed to catch uh, the extended highlights for, so I feel confident that I can be able to comment enough on this game. Uh, so let's just dive right in to speaking about, uh, about this game. So Manchester City, uh, in terms of talking points for the team, um, Jao Cancelo rested. Not really a surprise, considering Kyle Walker will be suspended for City's Champions League game coming up uh, on Tuesday evening. Uh, so I'm not surprised to see him rested. I wasn't surprised to see De Bruyne rested, a Merit Laporte as well. Uh, and probably Rodri, um, I say probably Rodri will, and probably John Stones. I imagine we'll see these players starting uh, for City against Sporting CP. Um, and it was uh, good for James McAtee, Keiki making his Premier League debut and Liam Delap all coming on for Manchester City as well. So that was absolutely brilliant there. Uh, Nathan Ake looked very comfortable at centre-back, which was good to see. Uh, Alexander Zinchenko, in my opinion, giving a little bit of a selection headache about what we're going to do with right-back and left-back for that Sporting CP game, as well as they're putting very good performances here uh, for Manchester City. Fernandinho getting more games under his belt. Uh, I thought Phil Foden looked very sharp for Manchester City as well. Um, and I want, we will speak more in detail uh, about Rafa. Raheem Sterling but uh, this is a win for Manchester City which at the time of me uh, recording this video with Liverpool picking up an away win against Burnley we are now nine points clear of Liverpool at the top of the Premier League Liverpool do still have that game in hand they do still have to play Manchester City as well so as I've been saying for the last few weeks this Premier League title is far from done and Manchester City need to make sure game by game that they are on it and that's exactly what we are doing uh, and the big bonus it says Liverpool only winning by one and City winning by four does mean we've got a plus five goal difference on Liverpool as well, which could become crucial at the end of the season. And this 4-0 away win against Norwich uh, has helped towards that uh, with uh, the Premier League uh, goal difference in the Premier League table. Uh, and considering City have rotated here, it's, this, this to me was a very, very good win for Manchester City. So let's speak about the goals. Let's speak about Raheem Sterling. He's managed to bag himself the perfect hat-trick which is absolutely fantastic. I, I want to, we'll speak through, through the game, then I'm going to speak more specifically about Raheem Sterling. So Raheem Sterling gave Manchester City the lead on the 31st minute. Uh, then Phil Foden scored for Manchester City uh, early in the second half to double Manchester City's lead, that killer two goal cushion that we're always looking for. Sterling then made it 3-0 uh, to Manchester City, scoring on the 70th minute and then in the 90th minute. Uh, missed the penalty kick with Liam Dillap going down, bit of a weak decision that one in my opinion, not I've seen penalties given, I've seen penalties not given for that one uh, with Liam Delap going down. There was a collision in the box and if there is a collision you always run the risk of a penalty being given. Sterling misses that penalty but scores the tapping rebound which is on his left foot to make it the perfect hat-trick. One with his right foot, one with his head and one with his left foot as well as handed Manchester City a 4-0 win. And as I've mentioned before with Norwich, they struggle to restrict the space for Manchester City here in this game. 72 2% possession for Manchester City compared with 28% possession for Norwich. Norwich having 8 shots, 3 on target compared with City's 22 shots and 9 on target. Not the greatest return of on target shots from the amount of shots that we had in the game. However, 9 shots on target with 4 goals is very, very good from Manchester City. Creating 4 clear cut chances, having 12 corners, a total of 707 passes in this game as well. This was a very good attacking display from City and like I said we've rotated quite a bit the side that we've gone with and the players that have come off the bench this was more like what you'd expect for City in the FA Cup uh, against Fulham um, just a what was it a week ago 
before. So, uh, and we've done it in the Premier League here against Norwich, who battling for their lives as well. This is a very good victory at Carrow Road for City. Uh, so, like I said, it does send City nine points clear at the top of the Premier League, and it's great preparation now for our game on Tuesday evening in a massive Champions League clash. Last 16 first leg game in Portugal, in Lisbon, to play Sporting CP. Now, I will do a preview for that game, uh, which will be up within the next 24 hours or so for you guys to enjoy. And I've already spoke about this potential selection headaches with Zinchenko, uh, Cancelo, John Stones, uh, and also some other players out there impressing for Manchester City. But uh, the, the most important player for this game against Norwich, and the player who I feel is so underappreciated by Manchester City fans as a large majority, is Raheem Sterling. Now, lots of people out there don't rate Raheem Sterling. There's some out there, and albeit it's, it is a minority, there are some out there, Manchester City fans, that would not uh, would like to see Raheem Sterling leave City. They say that he's not clinical enough in front of goal. He doesn't do enough movement. He's always looking to put it onto his right foot. He's indecisive. And they say that, quite frankly, he's not a good player. And I've always rated Raheem Sterling. Uh, I think, in my opinion, he's one of, if not the best player that England have when it comes to international football. Raheem Sterling, in terms of his football and ability, excites me because he's so quick, so dynamic, so good with his feet. Then, and he's more than capable of, albeit he isn't the greatest finisher out there, he is, though, very persistent with his shooting, and he gets himself into some tremendous positions. And a Raheem Sterling full of confidence, a Raheem Sterling that's willing to pick himself up, is a wonderful, wonderful player and a great asset to Manchester City. I am delighted that he's managed to score a hat-trick. To me, he's the first player on that team sheet on Tuesday evening for me. He's scored a hat-trick, he's done everything that's been required of him in this game. He goes into that team, in my opinion, on Tuesday. And I'm saying to Raheem Sterling, just do exactly what you did against Norwich. If City can get Raheem Sterling firing on all cylinders, then we're in for a, a fantastic finish to the season. Riyad Mahrez, our right winger, wide player, is City's top scorer in all competitions. Raheem Sterling is in hot form. He looks confident. He looks good. They could be crucial for Manchester City come the end of the season. And we've got a really big game now coming up against Sporting CP, which will give me my answer. City looking good in the Premier League. How are we going to look in a knockout game in the Champions League. That's the prestigious trophy. That's the trophy Manchester City want to win this season. We got to the final last season. We lost against Chelsea. We want to go one better. We want to win that Champions League trophy. Yes, we want to win the Premier League. In my opinion, it's the most difficult to, title to win in England because it's just so competitive. Um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's difficult to do and City have mastered the arts of winning the Premier League. It's not done yet for this season. We've still got plenty of work to do, but we've put ourselves in a very good position. And what we need to do now with the Champions League, we need to put ourselves in a strong position too. And how do we do that? Well, we turn up on Tuesday evening and we show Sporting CP exactly what we're all about. Riyad Mahrez, Raheem Sterling, Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, João Cancelo. These players all good to go in terms of an attacking sense for Manchester City. Laporte, Stones, Ruben Diaz, Edison all ready to hold firm for City at the back as well. Another clean sheet for Manchester City. It's so, so impressive. Uh, we're looking good. And hopefully we can continue this now into the Champions League on Tuesday evening. So there we go. They're my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. 100 likes is the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Subscribe as well if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. We're now aiming for 25,000 subscribers, less than 800 subs away from 23,000 subscribers, so we're making some good gains, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well, social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and i'll see you all again for the preview for that big 
Champions League game against Sporting CP. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>